It's a rematch of the 2017 LCK Summer Final SKT versus King Zone. Fun top lane matchup with Tall's Gangplank against Khan's Camille. Eight minutes in, Faker with the old press R strategy. Blank follows it up with the Glacial Prison. BDD still has time to stopwatch, but can't get the ulti off. Blank <laughs> slaps him for first blood. Right to 25 minutes, more Malzahar highlights, this time a flash R. No QSS on Peanut, he doesn't have a chance to do anything. SKT starts the Baron off of that, King Zone contests 3v4, Gorilla hits 3 with the Glacial Fissure. Effort lands the nice flash combo onto BDD, he's forced to flash out, but SKT chases. Gorilla gets stunned, he tries to leap to prey for safety, but dies mid-air. Bang flashes in aggressively to finish off BDD, but has to stopwatch to survive. BDD eventually drops which leaves prey to 1v4 he busts out some fancy feet with the flash arcane ship and finishes off bang but he goes down in the end three for one for skt and they do get the baron a little later watch the small screen i know it's tiny faker overextended bdd tps to cut him off gorilla and prey follow the rise qss is out another grasp and faker goes down Kingzone picks up effort as well that puts a serious stall on skt's baron power play Jump ahead to 50 minutes because apparently every game in the LCK goes that long. King Zone on the Baron with Elder Dragon. Blank cues in for the steal, but he gets absolutely stuffed at the rim by Gorilla's ult. The Dragons take down Sejuani and SKT is forced to run, but BDD screams surprise. Lands right beside Bang with the Realm Warp. SKT does take down the Rise, but it's a four for one and Baron for King Zone. Tall is left to defend against four, and that is just not happening. I'm sorry, my man. He goes down. King Zone take this one from zero to 100 real quick and take game one in just over 51 minutes. Game number two. Cuz comes in for Peanut. SKT lineup stays the exact same. Two minutes in. Cuz trying to steal Blank's blue buff, but Blank spots him out and the chase is on. The lion hunts the cougar in a prime example of the savagery of the wild. Cuz has to flash, but can't go into the brush. He's forced to walk into the waiting arms of Tal, who greets him with a hug. The lion grabs first blood. 10 minutes later, Blank come in again, Khan. Tall traps him with his ult, but Khan ain't even scared, even if he's down a level. Throws out the grand challenge, flashes under the turret to finish Tall, gets a heal, Blank misses the bola. Khan casually lunges over the wall, and Blank goes golden? Interesting tactic. Khan turns around the 1v2, new organization, same King Khan. 21 minutes now, the Fiora wasn't done. He throws the ult on Tall, Blank eventually ults in, but it's too late, man, he's already gone. Mercy, Khan, mercy. 24 minutes, Blank gets caught out on a solo warding expedition. King Zone instantly rushed the Baron, and all of a sudden they're up 9k, even though it's three to three in kills. 27 minutes, now it's a 14,000 gold lead, eight turrets to zero. Blank gets hit by a spear and dies before you can say, holy smokes, a game in Korea might end before 30 minutes. SKT can only watch their base die. Khan dismantles Tall once again. BDD eventually hits a three-man ulti and King Zone close it out in 28 minutes. Wow, what a sight. The struggles of SKT continue. They fall to one and three and seem to be a full tier below the other top teams in Korea. And lesson learned, don't gank Khan. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.